I'm going to show you how to get into your ELA notebook and add your new slide to your ELA notebook. If you are in Low Heat's class, if you're in my class, you don't really need to watch this video because you already have this set up. If you're in Kiefer's class, I'm going to show you how to do this. When you're in Google Classroom, make sure you click on Classwork. Then, under Kiefer University, you will find ELA Notebook. You're going to click on it and go ahead and open up yours. I'm going to go ahead and open up mine. This is what it will look like. You will have your own copy, so it will say your name up in the title. Then I want you to type your name. So I'll pretend my name is Bob Best. Wonderful. Then I'm going to add a new slide. It's up to you which one you would prefer. I'm going to choose this one. If I go back and I look at my directions, I've just created a new slide. And now I need, working towards my reading learning goal, I need that to be my title. So let's add that to my title. Now, that's a little bit small. Let's center it. Let's make it a little bit larger. Oh boy. Let's see if this makes it better. That can definitely still be larger. Let's try 25. Hmm. Let's go 22. Perfect. Then if I go back and look at my directions, I see that I need to say it's the week of 316. So in parentheses, week of 316. Once I'm done with that, I need to add my learning goal. If I go over here, everyone is going to have the same learning goal for this week. So I can copy and paste it or I can retype it. Now I don't really need that bullet point and I would like to make my words a little bit larger. Now I don't want them larger than my title. Let's go 20. That's fine. And I could label this if I want to be fancy. even make this into a bullet point to look really fancy. Wonderful. Now your slide is set up and ready to go. Throughout this week whenever you're reading from one of your chapter books or a nonfiction book that you have at home or maybe you're reading off of Epic, whatever you're reading, if you come across a new word and you can't figure it out, look it up. That's awesome, that's helping you learn. And then this is where you're going to add the new words you've learned. So, you would add your new word. Once you find a new word, you would add your new word here. Now this is a different font than this, so that's bugging me. So I'm going to change it to make it look cohesive. Let's make this, mm, 20 so we can see it. I would add my new word. It's a different color too. It's driving Mrs. Lowheed crazy. I would add my new word and then I would add my definition. Your goal by the end of the week is to show four new words that you've learned. If you want to add more, that is fabulous. This is how you set up your ELA notebook.